Hey guys, um, today I'm going to talk about five important things uh, for a driving test in Australia. Um, the first one is that head checks in traffic lights. How you gonna do a head check in traffic lights? Say for example, you are uh, traveling with other car and you saw the light is green and you are going straight so you have don't need to do much you just maintain a three second gap with the other car and you can go straight ahead no problem but the thing is that if you are the front car and you see the green light and you are going straight what are you gonna do the thing is that in this case you need to slow down the car a little bit because you're gonna check left and right in case if there is some car doing a mistake I mean if a car running in a red light or someone doing a mistake for the second thing if you are turning a traffic light to the left what are you gonna do if the, if the light is green you're gonna look your left blind spot obviously and you're gonna look your left corner where the people can walk and you can turn left and the second thing if you are turning right in a traffic light what are you gonna do okay if you are turning right and if you see the light is green and there is no oncoming car so you can actually go straight ahead but the other thing what happens if some oncoming car is waiting to come as well to straight what are you gonna do okay if the green light of course you're gonna go a bit ahead just not middle of the road but a little bit less middle of the road and you wait there put your right indicator on with a straight wheel make sure it's straight and put your indicator right and then you wait for the all oncoming car to go then you can approach what happened if you don't get a gap to go turn right with the green light if you don't get a green light like this one point the, the light turns yellow the oncoming car might be stopped there and even if they don't stop in yellow light they must stop in red light so what you can do if you are in the middle of the road and the right the light turns red you can still turn by three seconds that's legally you can do it there's no issue because you cannot stay in the middle of the road and other thing what happened if you are in a red light and you stop your car in red lights and the green light comes what are you gonna do okay if you are in a red lights and the green light comes you cannot go straight ahead either straight left or right so when the green light comes make sure you look on left and right then you move and that can be a big problem if you don't do it you might get failed for that uh, the checking is called observation so make sure if you are the front car if the green light comes don't go straight away anywhere like left or right or straight make sure you look left right then you go that's all that's all from the first topic now the second one is called traveling in a bus lane okay so can you travel in a bus lane the answer is yes you can do it but how far okay if you are intent to turning left you can come to a bus lane but only 100 meter only 100 meters you can travel and make sure before you enter the bus lane you're gonna indicate three seconds check your rear vision mirror check your left hand side mirror check your blind spot then you move the car please do not travel more than 100 meter in a bus lane that's considered a fail item in your test so even if you feel like you're doing well but you're gonna be failed for that that's a fail item number three number three is response to the green lights say for example if you are stopping a red light and you are the front car and the light turns green what are you gonna do you're not gonna go straight away you have to check your left right then you can turn only do not forget this you might get failed for this reason number four it's called four points check before moving the car okay normally um, the curbside parking is a compulsory item in Australia so remember when you move the car make sure you indicate for five seconds then by the time you're gonna look your first point is the rear vision mirror the second point is the right hand side mirror the third point is the right blind spot and the fourth point is you have to look 
front and then you can go that's all and number five it's called do not follow the other car okay normally we saw many of the learner drivers they follow the other car but they forgot that they already got their license and sometimes they don't care much okay so thing is that please do not follow other car you're gonna follow the rules say for example you are going in a 60 kilometer maximum zone you're not gonna drive more than 60 at all your aim is to drive 55 which is best to me and then don't follow other car the other car might be going over 60 they can go they can take a risk but you cannot do it because if you do it if your testing officer see it or can feel it you're gonna get failed for over speeding 